Hi, I'm SolarLoon, and this is uh, another part in the tutorial series on how to use Sunbox. This one will go into how to use the Arpeggio standard effect. Now, the Arpeggio effect is very powerful. It's good for uh, chip tunes, but also for just cranking out uh, chords if you don't have uh, a lot of channels to work with. Uh, if you're restricting yourself, or if you you know don't just uh, don't want to have a chord stretch across several uh, channels, you can just put in one. Okay, so what we have here oops, is just a generator going into the output. We're going to turn release down, turn on sustain, so we can play individual notes. Okay, and have it sound normally. All right, so the next thing we're going to want to do is put down a, a couple of keys. And stop it. Key. And stop it. I'm pressing tilde, by the way to uh, bring on the note, note off and I just press space to toggle record mode. Alright, so this is what we have. So that's fine. Um, it sounds like tones and it's very high. Let me transpose, transpose that down. Okay, now um, this is also the octave button. I'm just using this to keep track of which octave I'm on um, when I press keys on the keyboard. It's, you know, just so you can see which one you're on. Uh, you know how low and how high. All right, so we have our keys, uh, notes playing. What we're going to do is add an effect. Pretty simple. Go to the wrench, top right wrench, main menu, and then uh, click set effect and click arpeggio, which is effect eight. Now the parameters for arpeggio are pretty simple. You have two numbers. Well, you have four numbers, but two uh, numbers per parameter per note. The first note that's going to be played is the play note that you have, which is E5 for us. Then you have from that notes relative uh, going up from that note. So we have E3, uh, I'm sorry, E5 here. And then our uh, arpeggio will play next after E5 another note, and we'll designate what that is. We could say for a chord, let's say three up. So that's, wait, one, two, three, yeah, three notes up. And then for the rest of the chord, Let's go with that through us uh, for the rest of the chord. <clears throat> We're going to continue counting from the bass note, which is E5. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, uh, in case you don't know what this is, the first number three, you know, zero, three, three. That number is how is the second note that we're going to play, and seven is the uh, third note we're going to play. So it goes from E5, three notes up, and seven notes up, and it plays them rapidly in succession. So that it sounds like like that those three notes and I can't really play it uh, on the mouse so I'm gonna play it on my keyboard here Wrong one. it would sound like that and that's what it sounds like okay so we're just gonna copy paste this like so Sounds like a sounds like a cell phone going off. All right, let's change that number. Let's change that three to four to a four. So this, I believe, would be a major chord rather than a minor chord. A major major E chord, possibly. <laughs> I'm not too familiar with my chords, but you know, you can just mess around with different numbers, getting different chords, and just going for different sounds and feels. And then something else I've noticed uh, that's useful is to go if you don't really want to have that really grating sound. Uh, feel you can basically go out in terms of um, fading it out, and that really makes it easier on the ears. I just press uh, the number, which is 80, that's full velocity in the velocity column, and then press 0 at the end for no velocity, and then dragging a box between them, right click, select edit, and select interpolate velocity. And so you end up with this. So you can mix those up and get a nice, uh, nice little tune. It's it's pretty useful. Okay, so that was a tutorial on a arpeggio standard effect. Thank you for watching. I've been Solar Loon. If you feel like donating or um, to help fund more tutorials or uh, suggesting a tutorial that you want to see made, feel free to leave a comment in the video or on my channel. 
or email me um, at solarloon at gmail.com and I would be uh, happy to at least consider uh, working it, working uh, uh, the tutorial in. Okay, so thanks for watching.